So five-year investment time horizon, our minimum hurdle rate of return uh, is 15% at a compound annual rate over five years. And so I think that uh, that combination of five years plus exponential growth trajectories is what is finally starting to get into the market. I've been waiting for years. It's going to be incredibly confusing, I think, to people. Just look at what's happened to the bond market this year. You know, against all expectations, yields have dropped from, uh, I think it was 1.2%. 7.5 at the peak in March, down to 1.3, as inflation expectations are exploding, right? Uh, we believe the reason for that is that we're probably, when all is said and done and the dust clears from the supply chain problems and everything, we're probably in a highly deflationary world. And we see three sources of deflation. Uh, one is very good. It's, it's called technologically enabled in innovation. Artificial intelligence training costs are dropping 68% per year. Right. When something, when a cost drops that much, uh, the demand for it picks up. And artificial intelligence is probably the biggest reason we're seeing the convergences between and among technologies. So we've got one S-curve feeding another, feeding another. Explosive energy, incredible deflation. That's the first deflation. If, if the whole world thinks that's going to happen, and, and, and a portfolio manager and analyst team thinks that's going to happen, well, if we're wrong, it's not going to matter that much, right? Because nobody's expecting it. It's not in the market. But if we're right, the returns are enormous. And I think that's, that's what's going on with uh, the technologically enabled innovation that we see, especially in healthcare, by the way. But there are two other sources of deflation. Disruptive innovation, there's another side to it. It's called creative destruction. And I think we're going to see uh, more creative destruction than we have in all history during the next five to 10 years. Now, you can say, oh, you're just talking your book. We have rights law teaching us about learning curves and cost declines that suggest we are going to see incredible booms out there in parts of the world, but it's gonna mean tremendous destruction in others. So when I say confusing, I mean that. And then the third source of deflation I think will be cyclical deflation. Most people are fighting us on this one. It's hard to fight us given our research on those other two. We're in the echo now. And I do believe that both crypto and uh, the equity markets are going to be powered by millennials. In fact, um, Tom Lee at Fundstrat, yep. yeah, he, he has done the arithmetic the way that Stan did. And I think he says this bull market will not end at least until 2026 and maybe not until 2038 when the yep. number of millennials peaks out there. If we're right and uh, companies continue divers to diversify their cash into something like Bitcoin and uh, institutions, institutional investors start allocating 5% of their funds towards, uh, uh, I'll just say Bitcoin for right now, because we did that, we framed it for Bitcoin, could be for other cryptos as well. Um, we believe that the, the price uh, will be tenfold of where it is today. So instead of 45,000, over 500,000. Countries are now deeming it legal tender and we haven't right. even put that into our uh, thinking. Ether, however, um, is seeing an explosion in developer activity right. thanks to NFTs and DeFi. I'm, I'm fascinated with what's going on in DeFi, which is collapsing the cost of the infrastructure for financial services in a way that I know that the traditional financial industry does not appreciate right now. So uh, it does have to move from proof of work to proof of stake. That transition is underway and seems to be taking hold. Our uh, confidence in Ether has gone up dramatically as we've seen the beginning of this trans uh, transition from proof of work to proof of stake. We'd still probably do 60% uh, Bitcoin, 40% Ether. Our working assumption from the beginning um, was that, and, and this was based on meeting with them, meeting regulators, both state and local and federal, was that no regulator wanted to be blamed from preventing the next big technology breakthrough to happen in the US. Uh, and that has proven true. Now we've got um, 
Chairman uh, Gary Gensler. I'm really happy he understands crypto and understands the merits of Bitcoin in particular. Uh, he is a regulator though, and he's a hardcore regulator. What Coinbase did, I mean, I was shocked when I saw it. Wells notice, are you kidding? They haven't even released the product. The, like, what is this? And I think what that Wells notice is doing, it's, it's a, a call out by regulators saying, we got to discuss this stuff because this is happening very quickly. And I think we are going to bring um, courts into the system. This happened in Canada. Uh, a company called 3IQ sued uh, the regulator there uh, and won in court. So they were able to issue Bitcoin ETFs and, and closed end funds and Ether as well. So I am beginning to think that Coinbase doesn't mind this at all. And if you saw the stock reaction, it hardly budged, right? right? Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now let's continue. What to do in such a situation? Inform yourself and keep your financial education strong. We from the Compact Group offer our loyal subscribers a free educational portal with firsthand monetary, financial, and economic knowledge. Enter our invite-only Insider Club by clicking the link below. You will get access to first-class information far earlier than the rest. We have prepared a special deal for all our members where you can access a giant pool of Robert Kiyosaki's financial wisdom for just one dollar. To find out more, simply click the link below and join our Insider Club absolutely free. But there is more you can and should do. Build up several streams of income. More and more people realize that they have to take their future in their own hands, but they don't know how and where to start. We from Compact offer our Insider Club members unique opportunities. Strengthen your financial muscle and get the edge. Click the link below. Become part of our free Insider Club. No financial obligations. But there's one important thing you have to know. You have to become active. So do it now. Become active and see you on the other side.